I'm Robert Hannigan. I'm the director of GCHQ, which is an intelligence agency uh, combating terrorism, cybercrime, cyber attacks, and serious crime online. I think as well as mattering for moral reasons, and we should always do this because it's the right thing to do, uh, for us as a technology-driven agency, uh, we absolutely can't do the job, we can't meet the threats that are developing at a very fast pace without innovation and creativity, particularly in the uh, technology areas. And how do you get that innovation and creativity? Uh, as in the private sector, you get it by throwing different types and ways of thinking together. So we want people of all backgrounds and sexualities and experiences uh, to get the thing that we really need to keep ahead of terrorists and others online. I think like a lot of the public sector we're a very good employer, we have very flexible terms, uh, but I think the key for us is that we have made a particular point of celebrating the diversity of our staff for the business reasons I just talked about. Uh, so we are saying that uh, people in diverse groups are assets to the organisation, huge assets to the country. Uh, and I think that itself makes people feel valued and, and included. And then we're doing all the things that people like Stonewall have advised us on HR policies, on recruitment, on uh, supporting and monitoring people in the workplace, on training our managers and, and staff. Uh, and we've further to go on all these things. We're not perfect, um, but we've made a lot of progress thanks to Stonewall and others. The best way to find out more is to look at our website, uh, our recruitment website. It has uh, a lot of details of all the jobs that we are currently advertising, but also talks about the apprenticeship schemes and other recruitment paths. Uh, and it also has some case studies, which I hope people will find useful. And it has a, a section on betting, which I know is often a particular uh, worry for LGBT staff. Um, I hope they'll find that reassuring. And any particular questions we can field to our very active uh, staff network, Pride, uh, and we can find ways of answering. So please look at the website as a starting point. I talked about Turing in the speech because he embodies the great talent uh, that we have and that we need to solve really difficult problems facing the country. But he also embodies the poor treatment, uh, the treatment at the times of the criminal justice system, but also the treatment uh, of, of us as an employer too, although there were many people inside the organisation who supported him. And as I said in the speech, he wasn't alone, he was the most high profile, but there were many staff uh, dismissed for being homosexual or being suspected of being homosexual uh, in those years right up until the early 90s when we changed the policy and when we lit up the building for Idaho Bit Day last year uh, I had a lot of reaction from former members of staff and I've had a bit more here this morning actually but one particular member of staff wrote to me a very long and moving letter about his experience of uh, being dismissed in the 1960s and talking about the lost opportunity, which is a big theme, I think, of, of, of uh, those years. And he asked me to apologise, uh, not to pardon him because he hadn't done anything wrong, but to apologise on behalf of GCHQ for his treatment. And I'm very happy to say how sorry I am for the way he was treated, and many others too, who were dismissed in those decades. Uh, they were a loss to us and a loss to the nation.